This is the Kishi Universal Mobile Gaming Controller for Android. Uh, I wanted to pick this up because I actually have been using the backbone for the iPhone. But if you guys have been watching our channel, I recently bought a S22 Ultra and I, re I really wanted to see what the competitor looks like. Uh, you can pick one of these up on Amazon. Right now, it's at like $76.99, something like that. But this is going to be a quick unboxing and just the first impressions of it. Uh, before I open it up, uh, just some of the features. We've got uh, ergonomic design. Uh, we've got uh, fits most Android devices. So this is important. So uh, I believe it's 6.7 inches, which is exactly what the S22 Ultra is is at. So if you've got an S20, if you've got a Note 20 Ultra, you're out of luck with this controller. It's got clickable analog sticks. Uh, it's got uh, cloud gaming compatible. So that's good. That's why you would buy something like this. Ultra low latency uh, and gameplay and uh, USB type charging port on the actual remote. All right, so let's see what this actually looks like. One, remember guys, knife safety cut away from you. And uh, let's see what we get. Okay, this is the remote. This is how it comes in. Look at that. It's got some seals, making it legit. What else we got in the box here? The books. Oh, and uh, stickers. So if you know anything about Razer, they are all about labels, right? If you build a PC, all that, they usually carry stickers in there. They're kind of like Apple in that regard. But here's the remote. Let's peel this off. Okay, does it say anything interesting for us? To expand the controller, see reverse side for instructions. Right, like we read that. But we are today, just for the sake of knowledge. Okay, uh, put, pull uh, both of these release latches and expand the controller, okay. For those of you who, who do videos like this behind a camera, it is difficult to read uh, through the phone, especially when it's not focused. Um, Okay, so these are the latches, and let's see what happens. Oh, and then you've got your uh, Razer logo right there, so there you go. So you see, it expands. This is it. Oh, and it's got some, uh, it's got some pull. Okay, all right, so this is the controller. Let's look at the buttons. Clicky, clicky. Very tactile. You've got an Xbox button, very tactile. I guess that's a menu button. Oh, there goes the charging port. Almost didn't see it because of this tag. So you'll be able to charge your both of your devices, or rather your phone, uh, while, while you're playing. So there's no getting out of it because you can't find a char or you, you can't charge it at the same time. This has come off. It seems like it's pretty in there. Okay, this is the remote. All right, so I'm gonna pull my phone. Where's my phone over here? So, no 20 Ultra, took off the case, because these things do n are not case compatible. So you're gonna have to take off the case every time you wanna play. Uh, and if you don't know, I'm using a case from Mouse. Uh, love their work. If you want to see an unboxing of their case uh, and some of my thoughts, I have a video you can check out. So, let's see. Let's go with the charging port first. I'm gonna, there we go. And then, so it expands. So yeah, yeah, 6.7 inches is the limit. Try telling the unit you're converting to. I don't know. Sorry, Bixby is uh, always listening. Big brother. D-pad, feels a little stiff, but it's, it's not, it's a non-issue. As a matter of fact, let me compare it to an actual Xbox controller because it has the same layout, same buttons, just not as bright. So, okay, so you see how these are very tactile and clicky. These are a little more, a little more stiff. Doesn't mean it stops you. But yeah, as far as it goes, the triggers might go, no, triggers are good. Triggers, triggers, LT, RT, it's all good. So, let's see if we can jump into something real quick. I don't want to take up too much time. Go to Game Pass, if I can find it. There we go, Game Pass. Now, let's see how this controller does. 
first impressions. I usually, yeah, so you can't control the menu, either that or it's not on or there's an on switch, I'm not sure. All right, hold on. All right, let me just put any game. Let me get him on here. Let's go with Wolfenstein. Also, you see, uh, pair a supported controller via Bluetooth or plug. Is it not plugging in? Does it not work? This is not a good sign. Let me see something real quick. Okay. Now, I definitely know that the USB-C right here works. This is ha this is pretty snug. So yeah, you're you're really getting it. USB-C. USB-C, let's see. Okay, I see a light on. I see a light on. Do I need to charge it? Does it does this require like a charge or something? Because if it does, that's interesting. Xbox Game Pass. Okay, no, I don't. Let me see. Play. Okay, so I think it's now reading it. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I really wanted to see what the competitors look like. I like this design. Um, definitely, I think a little more than the backbone. It feels a little more solid to me. Like, you know, the backbone is a little thinner. It's supposed to be compact. Not to say it's bad, but, you know, to each their own. I've got, I've got pretty beefy hands. And I like a controller that I can kind of get around in. Okay, so there you go. I just hit the, the button. Okay, the, the buttons are working just fine. Let's see if I can put up the uh, brightness for you guys. Yeah, I mean, 1,700 nits on this phone. You want this, especially during low light. Okay, huh, okay. That's interesting. What's going on? Do you need to be bar battery uh, powered? Good question. I'm going to charge this up. See if I'll be right back. And so we're back. I did some readjustments. I got my charger. Um, it's working out just fine. Let's try this again. As you can see, I could, I could pick the game while using the remote. So I can control my phone with the remote just fine. Now, of course, we have to let it load again while it's loading. Oh, it's doing it pretty quick. I, I will say I am impressed with uh, Xbox's um, ability or the phone's ability to just get data like that. That's, that's, that's impressive to me. Okay, so it's loading again. I'm going to have one more. I thought it needed like a charge, but apparently not. I hope that's not the case. Um, I just readjusted it and, and really made sure it was uh, had a solid fit. Uh, you want to make sure it's snug. So let's see. Let me go. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of gameplay. I've never actually... I've just, like, started this game. And that's it. But I don't know anything that's going on. So let's see. Uh, okay. So here we go. Extremely little latency. Uh, let's see. Um, where am I supposed to go here? I'm locked. Okay, here we go. From what I've heard good things about this game, I, I want to sit down and try it, but sometimes, man, life just... Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I got it, because then maybe I can play it like at work. Nope, that's probably an ally. Man, that's impressive how things get. But yeah, it feels good. In, it feels good in the hand. Um, no doubt about that. There's a little indent in the joysticks, which make it comfortable. Hmm. Let's see. It's like. 
I don't even know what I'm shooting at most of the time. Anyway, yep. So that's the, okay. So you see, you can go to your menu. If you want to leave, well, you've got your menu button there. Let's see. Quit game and go to main menu. Okay. But what if I want to quit the game game? Okay, so there it is. So you see, you have full handle. Now, I would show you guys um, Call of Duty. But I think, and I'm trying to, like, go home. I think I have to, like, update it. And that is just a whole bunch of updates I am not ready for. You're not ready for. I'll have to uh, do that on a separate video. But ask your questions down below. I don't even have it downloaded. That's crazy. Ask your questions down below about it. Uh, just so you can see a comparison and what this looks like with the uh, actual backbone. Here's the backbone. I like that design better. You know, goes from compact to this. This is a little piece you'll need if you've got an iPhone 13 Pro Max. That little rubber piece so that it doesn't get in the way of your... Um, of your uh, camera bump. But you can see, I'll take this off now, the size comparison. Taking it off is very easy. You can see the size comparison. Much thinner. Still clicky buttons. That didn't break. Got this now. Which... Gets very compact as well, but it feels it feels right in the hands for me. Big hands. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this controller by Razer. Uh, I'll uh, probably do a review if you guys ask, uh, but I'm going to test drive this baby out on multiple things. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll check you guys out later.